What? Good YouTube, and welcome to that smooth transition into a sponsored playmat review. As a competitive player, I've gone through a ton of playmats, and Ophidian has long worked with the channel from their clouded past known as the Dan Mats, so we'll get into that, to their very bright present where their playmats are freaking nice, into the future, which is why they're doing the sale code Ophidian50 for 50% 50 off in order to get in the lab, make more products, and do cool things. They're trying to turn their inventory into capital to do so, and this will be one of their last very big sales they plan to ever do. So I am only being sponsored basically on this video to describe the difference in materials. However, I'm going to go the 10 yards for the audience and also say, hey, I feel this about this playmat and point out some negatives as well. But they're small gripes compared to the really positive that Ophidian does, like working with in-community artists like Pellin. Her artwork is amazing on this playmat. And how they've really kind of changed the game on certain things with their top of the line now playmats, which are very affordable, especially during the sale. I think it's like $30 for their top playmats right now. And they don't just make their designs go away. They do some limited colorways at times, but a lot of their designs stick and you're able to get them whenever you want. So this is the Ancient Rivals Basic Bare Bones Velvet Playmat. They have velvet, velvet stitched, suede and suede stitch and you might be wondering what am I paying for for the extras and Ophidian's been hearing that a lot which is why they wanted me to do the video so again this is the basic velvet there's no stitching on the corners and I actually do have this first small gripe there with any of their playmats that out of the bag you have these and you can just cut them off but whenever I get a new product I'm not necessarily having to want to work on the product that I'm buying past that zero gripes on this playmat and only compliments it passes what I call the drag test with sleeves used to they had raised ink on their playmats in the very far past where the name would come off and people joked about dan mats now they've gone to the industry standard along with when it was being set as an industry standard of burned in ink and it's extremely nice as you can see on the blue eye side i think the dark magician was a little ambitious but he's meant to be a mysterious figure his eyes don't come out the most clearly but the rest of the design freaking stellar including that like magician circle and that sort of stuff with the light bursting through there in the design so when i'm talking about the drag test what is that some newer playmat companies get this very wrong where there's like ridges in the playmats where you can damage your sleeves as a competitive player that can be your tournament life so basically you're looking to make sure it catches on nothing that glides through and it does leave little trails that come right out basically it's because it's a raised plush fabric and you want zero resistance which is exactly what this offers it's not going to damage the corners of your your sleeves and especially not your cards and that's why some people actually prefer this version to the next version but i like the next version more which is the velvet stitched when it comes down again though to the details they are crisp they are nice and i think they've done a great job with their basic one and i i think on the sale it's like 22.50 or 20 dollars for a two-player playmat, which is probably the best deal within the industry whenever we're talking prices. Next up, we have their Velvet Stitched, and I think this just looks a little more premium and together as a whole. This is right out of the bag, so you're going to get that raise that you have to play on like how the other one has. But you can see here, the back stitching is done so well, so tight. A lot of companies don't get that done that well. And then you can see here, it kind of transitions into the material on the front. However, you do have to be a little more wary with your cards. Some people like that other playmat because they don't have to think about this. But let's say I set a back row, right? And I go, I activate my trap card. If I go all the way to here, it can catch a little on the stitching. And you don't want that to happen where it's going to actually like damage your card sleeve corner over time. Not the card itself your sleeves what is in danger of becoming a marked card so basically you have to be a little mindful of that and pick it up before it gets to that point it's not too hard it's just something you've got to keep in mind again the material super nice super plush for what it is but not as plush as the next mat, which again goes to an upgrade. But I think this is a great version to have, and I like it. But if you don't mind cutting off a couple strands, then the other one is cheaper, as well as not having to worry about catching those card corners. Next up in the Ancient Rivals design, still burgundy here, is going to be their suede. So the suede is the upgrade from the velvet. I think the design comes in a little tad more crisp so than the other one. And it has this almost 
stretchy feel to the top. You don't even get that kind of line within the playmat. In fact, it more so pushes in the softness of this playmat itself. It's just the next level of plush versus almost any playmat I felt. And this feels so smilky, silky smooth on top. I combined the words there. The one thing I don't like with the back material on the non-stitched version is some of this comes off a little bit. I don't have any fears of wear over time with that, but basically you have to violently shake it out at first. Again, something that like getting a new product, if you don't want this material throughout your backpack, you definitely want to shake it out pretty much violently. But again, I personally find that to be a small gripe with such a good playmat in general. And the next version, I had zero problems with that, which is going to be the suede stitch. So basically that small upgrade can save you a lot of headache in a sense, none of it's going to be coming out from there. And the top material just so seamlessly in there when it comes to the stitching. Again, I wouldn't necessarily risk going back through with the drag test because it's still going to catch against the thread at certain points. There's less danger of it with this mat than the other one, but it's not something I would be risking during a tournament so again if you're like flipping a card flip it sideways like that don't just drag it all the way to the back and off of the mat it's basically don't do anime style dueling right but when it comes to this playmat again it's got that kind of give to it that's really just plush and nice and with the back which is a sherpa like material on the suede it's the most plush mat i felt pretty much since the 94 spellgrounds which have that back and jim's done a playmat like that in the past too it's very hard for companies to consistently do a nice plush backing and it's easier on the wrist it's nice it's comfy and the top material so much of an upgrade. I, I don't even know how to describe it other than it is so nice and smooth and back and forth. And it's got that you can crumple it up, throw it in your bag feel, which a lot of playmats you're not as comfortable doing with, right? So that's the differences in materials. And my small gripes, again, are with the basic velvet and the basic suede. They're completely eliminated by the stitching as a whole. And again, they're small, easy fixes. I also want to show off a couple more designs again. They're not paying me to do this part. This is all me. I love how vibrant their different mats are. Take a look at this. This is one of their Pokemon themed play mats. I love Ruby and Sapphire. The secret bases are my jam. And when it comes to these whites into yellows into like just crazy different gradients, you can really see it on this play mat and how good it looks. The range between whites and yellows is hard for some companies to do. And they get it here into the dark, deep, rich magma a look just oh so right this also the backing i suppose i should show on the velvet is a canvas like material that is not rough like canvas but basically it's that tight knitting and i think it's better than a lot of companies when it comes down to it especially for such a cheaper option versus other companies Next up, I wanted to show their greens into different greens into yellow kind of thing with their Broly two-player playmat. You basically have two different designs for Broly, and I think they, it's one of my favorite colors of green, that dark emerald swirling black green. Uh, but seriously, I love the range, the different kinds of fan art that they do within their playmats. And then better effects than the CGI in the new Little Mermaid movie. They have this purposeful blur like you're underwater. And they have a whole kind of theming. But this is their one player. About the size to expect. Like, let's put the card sleeves on it. So if you're not wanting to share your mat or have a folded mat, that kind of thing. This is their one player. Very simple. Much smaller. I personally would prefer the two players as a whole, depending on the design. Finally, they have one other kind of play mat which is their rubber mat, which comes stitched. Again, be careful going to the edge. And I do feel like it's just such a premium feel to have that cloth. This is cloth matting on top of rubber. No other company is doing stuff like this. And I think this is so freaking cool. Again, passes the drag test, but there is more heft to the back of the mat. So you want to be careful how much pressure you're putting on the card like you pretty much would with a regular rubber mat. But that cloth feel is so premium. It does give a little little bit more resistance going in one specific direction though let me actually test that no it slides right through even when it's raised good for it no problems at all so when it comes to that it's still zero resistant on your card and actually is more give to the mat i don't know how this will wear over time because it's new but this is the kind of stuff ophidian's trying to do by doing this sale and turn their actual current inventory into capital so they can get in the lab do new cool things and this 
Like, who, who's doing cloth on top of rubber that actually feels good, feels right, and I could honestly suggest to my audience, I really think this is something neat and on the sale, you should probably check it out. And the rubber backing is actually a lot more premium than many companies will do as well. Like, it, you can see here, like, out, not marked at all, like... It's, it's nice. It's heavier, heftier than a lot. But hey, if you have a bad back, maybe you want to keep your backpack lighter. So that's my take on Ophidian. Again, very small gripes. They've come a long way from where they used to be within the community and in the industry. And they're trying to do even cooler things in the future. Uh, I do believe, actually, uh, before I say goodbye... Yeah, I wanted to actually show uh, the experience of opening. They have the kind of frosted matte bag. A lot of people do that. But they have two iconic designs, and I wanted to show more color ranges. I almost forgot to do this. When it comes to the Dragon Rulers, this is iconic art within our industry. Oh my freaking gosh. And this is their kind of new take on it. It's more saturated colors on them as a whole. I, I kind of prefer the OG personally, but this is kind of to show the different gradients and what they're kind of testing and working on but this one i believe is by midnight dreams if i'm not mistaken from a good while ago and this is the um stained glass crystal beast mat and you can really get a feel for a range of colors on this one it's basically a printing test of how it works on play mats and everything even the different grays on mammoth come through and that is so hard to do right so again i would give him a chance during the sale Code Ophidian50 for 50% off. That doesn't even support me or the channel. They've already gone for the review. And I, I personally do like them a lot as a company. I like that they reach out to artists and work with different ones in the community. And I think that they've done a really good job on actually looking at their different playmats, what they can do with them, some of the best stitching, some of the best feels. And when you're upgrading, you actually feel the upgrade you're paying for. Thanks for watching today's video as I smoothly go back here. And let me know what you think of Ophidian mats and if you're going to pick up any of the designs on the sale. There's a lot to check through on there with some designs you might actually recognize very historic within the community. Thanks for watching, everybody.